with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Our entire viewing area under a winter storm watch. This is not, though, till tomorrow night. This is Friday night through Sunday morning. So nothing tonight or during the day tomorrow. And most of the snow will come in a little later. I think tomorrow evening you're going to be okay. But as you can see, blue shaded areas, pretty much the entire region, under a winter storm watch. Snow, there may be a little bit of a rain mix in the southern counties for a little bit on Saturday afternoon, depending on the temperatures. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll talk about snowfall arrival times and how much here coming up in just a little bit. Winter has returned. Look at this. 30 for the high, 6 degrees below normal. 17 this morning, that's also below normal. 61, your record high, 15 below is your record low for this day. No precipitation today. It's been dry so far this month. We're 10 days in, a third of the way through. We've gotten less than a tenth of an inch. Of precipitation, but of course that will be changing with snow on the way. Tomorrow morning, sun comes up at 8 or 9, goes down at 5:45, 9 hours, 36 minutes of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute 12.5, and it is on the way down. In Terre Haute right now, cold night out there, 27, but the winds are light northeast, so we don't have a big wind issue, and the pressure's high, 30.40. That will be lowering though as a storm system heads this way. Temperatures pretty much mid to upper 20s all across the area, and. With fair skies, we should drop into the upper teens to near 20, it looks like, by tomorrow morning. So where's our next storm? Well, just now, in the last, oh, 12 to 18 hours, coming on shore in Southern California, getting out here across portions of Arizona, that's what we're going to be watching and tracking. And now that it's over land, we get these, uh, what we call the weather balloons up into these, and it helps us to uh, forecast this with our weather computer model. So we have a pretty good handle on the timing and amount of precipitation. You can already start to see it's pulling some moisture in to the southwest with some rain. Nothing really going on here in this area. We've seen some clouds more so in the northeastern area. See this? But most of the area looking at fair skies. And I think we'll be looking at mostly clear skies during the overnight hours for tonight. So let's time this out. Nothing tonight. Clear skies and cold. Tomorrow starts out okay. Then the clouds will increase by mid-morning. And by afternoon, we become cloudy. Snow is going to hold off, though. Notice here is around midnight to 2 a.m., just coming into the western area. So I really think we're good until probably close to midnight. Then it will overspread the area during the overnight hours. And by early morning, as it's close to 9 a.m. Eastern, pretty much most everybody looking at snow. I'd say probably by 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll have the snow moving in on Saturday. And then it will stay around Saturday, but tending to taper off some notice here later in the day. The bulk of this is going to be late Friday night till noon Saturday. And then it kind of starts to taper down to just some snow showers after that. So how much snowfall? This is grand total snow between Friday night and Sunday morning by the time it tapers off. Way north along Interstate 74, we're looking at 2 to 4, but the vast majority majority of our viewing area in the three to six inch range. I think a lot of it will be in the three to five, but there could be a few pockets where you get up to half a foot, believe it or not, six inches of snow. Anything over 3.1 inches will make it the biggest snow in almost four years. Again, we haven't had a lot of snow the last three winters, but that's kind of a big deal for us. So three to six should cover us by Sunday morning with the snowfall. That system will clear out of here by Sunday afternoon. Drier weather moves in as we head into the rest of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Looks pretty dry for most of next week, although it may get a little bit of a light rain snow mix on uh, Wednesday night. But overall, mostly dry next week. And watch the temperatures. Look at all this cold air up here. It just slowly settles south across Canada and into the U.S., so we've got plenty of winter in front of us over the next several days. For tonight, partly cloudy and cold, dropping to 20. During the day tomorrow, increasing clouds, but no snow. 38 for the high, not too much on the wind. After that, the snow will move in, and as we head into the day coming up on Saturday, and then it looks like the snow will taper off by early on Sunday. 33 temperatures stay cold, below normal, for the next several days. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.